what's going on my people welcome back to the live capital youtube channel where life is for the taking i really hope you guys have really had such a beautiful weekend as you guys understand us really being over here on this side this iso army of x side we really understand kind of the newest developments that have been happening with xdc guys i have some grand news when this came across the desk because you guys have to really understand you know when it comes down to the rec uh, the um uh, retail hype or the speculative hype on most of this stuff, it's going to be something that's above the table. But when it comes down to what these bankers are doing, when it comes down to the central bankers, the policies, the regulation and stuff, you really have to do your digging. And that's exactly what we're here to do. Make sure that you guys don't even have to do all that homework. I'm Seriously, we have some people that are here that are like, do your own research. We want you guys to be able to come back over here to Lift Capital and at least get yourself a sense of understanding of what's going on behind Behind the scenes regardless guys I really hope you've been enjoying the past 24 hours because you know what you get over here on live capital another 24 hours of blessings I really want you guys to understand that so what I have lined up for you all today we're gonna be going into some things if you're new to our channel right now what this is is more so our uh, home room in a sense what we're really preparing ourselves for is the new age when it comes down to digital trade for really I really do hope if we have some people that are just new to XDC I just got me some XDC this weekend never heard of it just found your channel love your content all of that we want you guys to be educated out here so when it comes down to these crypto streets when it comes down to you checking your balance and you're seeing volatility and whatnot you're able to be able to have your eyes on the prize that's what this community has been about making sure that everyone knows where the prize is going now of course we know we have some moon boys out there they're just like oh, hey ted no what's your price prediction for xdc all that stuff i'll be giving y'all what you need i'll give you what you need but the point is is really we key in to really know what's really happening in the real world why because when the eu when these governments when these uh policy makers make the things that they do they're always going to make moves that can last at least a decade now if you think about all of this full activation for xdc guys we're going to be looking at the xdc chart we're going to be looking at really where things are going but first we have to pay attention to what these regulators are doing we could be have our head in the clouds all day about bullish news and all of that we need to keep it 10 toes down so we can make ourselves have some in uh, informed decisions when it comes down to our xdc when it comes down to all of our iso cryptos so with that being said guys i appreciate everyone who does tune in of course if you're watching this thing on the replay or anything like that maybe you might be late to class or something like that i want you to know that you actually have something that is transformative in your wallet if you're tuning into this thing and you're an xdc holder what you hold within your wallet is something that is transformative how is it transformative the electronic trade document bill that has been put into law seriously if you guys don't know if you seriously if you really do not know what's going on right now in the eu or uh, excuse me in the uk they've just approved of the electronic trade bill that is a government bill that makes listen to me all paper documents now in global trade digital so guys we're going to be seeing a lot of changes it's really more so i'm talking to the people that have eyes to see and ears to hear if you're really seeing and noticing that we're moving into a digital economy where things are moving more and more into a digital apparatus you know now we have digital documents for global trade how is your xdc going to get in there we have that for you so guys of course for all of my iso eagles everybody who's up in here go ahead and smash that like button again if you're really just on the sidelines just watching us on on content and everything subscribe if you're watching this on the replay subscribe we're looking at the analytics all this watch time coming in from not subscribe people get in tune with our community folks we have over a thousand um over a thousand videos guys and it's really it's way more than just news updates but for all my people that are in here let's step into this thing so first and foremost if you guys don't know elon musk right here with the x coin and whatnot but firstly i actually want to just go ahead and actually hit you guys with what's really happening with coin market cap up first before we even talk anything about the old elon and the musk okay so uh first and foremost i want to just go ahead and just go ahead and do a peruse really of our market for all of our new people that are just really in here you know really it, it's a uh it's a new day for a lot of new people, especially when they're really coming over into our community. So putting it out there, I uh, want you guys to know, see what's going on with this. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, the heck? This background here. 
Uh, give me a second, folks. Just want to go ahead and make sure I get this thing um, reshaped for everybody who's up in the place to be. One sec, one sec. So um, really, again, if you're uh, new to our channel, having some issues here. But long story short, let me just go ahead and get back to who we were, who we were really talking, talking about. Can't really see him. Uh, gosh, isn't that some stuff? I don't know why this is trying to do some things on me. As everybody uh, piles in, make sure that you get yourself, you know, known, make yourself known with our community. Uh, this is right here, the actual XDC chart. If you guys want to know, this is actually the uh, the uh, seven day uh, for XDC. As you guys can see, we're really seeing that XDC was, I mean, just, just beautiful. I mean, on the past week, 60%. You know, we've been talking XDC for more than a year, so you're up 85% just listening to this channel. It's a great thing. Of course, this is a hidden gem. A lot of people uh, that are really coming over to ISO Cryptos are really realizing, okay, well, XRP is the chosen one. It's the number one and blah, blah, blah. But where can I really get in or actually make some gains for the future? And a lot of people are seeing that XDC is it. Man, I, I, don't, know, I don't even understand why this is screwing up for some reason. Ah, there it is. Okay, that was the problem. Here we go. Sorry about that, folks. All right, wait. All right, here we go. All right, my people. You know I'm always gonna figure it out. If you're new to this channel, oh, I'm. I, we're not new to this, baby. We are true to this. Okay. It doesn't matter if anything is happening. We're gonna keep you guys updated. Big shout out to everybody who is in here. Now, again, I have to clear this up. I wanna. I don't, cause I was having a conversation with another community member, and it was more so like, hey, Ted. You know, I appreciate everything that you do. You put a lot of hard work in, but you really have to think about those that really don't know anything about electronic trade. You know, anything about world trade and whatnot. So I wanna uh, say for the person person that's kind of in the back of the class it's like if you're a little lost or feel like this is advanced or something like that basically right now everything that you see everything that you're seeing has something to do with global trade so with that being said over the past centuries folks global trade um this is the like one of the oldest professions in a sense it goes back to the 16th century especially trade finance so a lot of paper documents unnecessary paper documents right uh have been law it's been law. Basically, if you hold the bill of lading, if you hold a bill of credit, all of those different things, it was all paper documents. But folks, if you really think about where we are right now, that's different languages. That's different jurisdictions. That's different attitudes, you know. So now everything is going to go digital. So if you guys are, you know, kind of feeling, well, is there going to be some kind of fraud or something like that, guys? I need you to think about what this the ramifications of what this really means, guys. Business is going to flow instantly. So, of course, with that being said, you already know I have some Fed now news, especially for you guys. Um, right up here, up front, I did want to show you guys this right here. We were talking to you guys earlier about how Twitter has changed over into X. Yes, that is right, into X. And come to find out, there's a whole meme coin about it. And of course, just to show you all the speculative phase of this crypto market that meme coin got 925 percent surge of course with that of course being said the thing's down like 99 percent from its all-time high i just wanted to show this group just kind of kind of how the speculative market goes in this thing you can see that they launched this this eth uh, coin back in June when I guess there was some news about it dead water until the thing go ahead and hits up to about 50 cents you see what I'm saying there guys so of course the thing is right back down to seven cents I'm not recommending anybody get this but my point is that we're still in a speculative market show me where in the stock market you can get these kind of gains in just three or four days just putting it out there and look at how much money actually got involved in this thing the volume Okay, the volume, $1.2 million, you got to be kidding me. Now, when it comes down to really some making some gains, guys, I have another opportunity for you, of course. I've been letting you guys know about our staking. You can get yourself 25% APR on all of these coins and tokens. Again, if you're new to our class, the reason why we show you all this is because life is for the taking of opportunities. I was showing you all in my last live how I had staked about 3,000 uh, XRP, and right there it's going for four, uh, I already have about $4.50. Uh, $4 52 cents in BUSD. Uh, again, just to give you guys some clarity here, no KYC, no limits at all, and you can close your staking at any time, and you'll be getting those rewards back every three hours. Again, we want you guys to have DeFi opportunities out here. Of course, when it comes down to your precious XRP, XLM, XDC, you do what you want, of course. 
Now, moving forward into a little bit of regulation news, and of course, uh, to go back on our staking, guys, if you have any questions or concerns about it, definitely let me know uh, in a DM. Shoot me a DM or in the comments and whatnot. Just keep it respectful, okay? If you have any questions, just get involved. There is a link in our description, a link in our description right there for it, uh, I believe, um, actually in all of our in our other lives and stuff i could drop that in the uh, in the chat so connect with me if you guys want to get a little bit more on the DeFi. so this is going to be for our people in the states i want to talk with you guys about regulations real quick americans bullish on crypto despite these regulatory concerns just putting it out there that there's been a few different bills that are really uh um uh, you know since since xrp got clarity suddenly Suddenly, Congress, suddenly bipartisan bills just coming out left and right, left and right. Something I've been noticing. So you see here Brad Garlinghouse celebrating his win, of course, with the legal battle against the SEC, says he didn't mince words when uh, and went on to call the watchdog a bully in a recent Bloomberg article. And that's a fact, guys. Throughout all of this, the SEC has been, you know, losing clout, of course, with crypto and all of that. But in the last live, I was telling you guys that within these bipartisan bills, they're trying to weave the SEC still into the table. They're not going to have as much power and try to, you know, shut down as much as they did because they really want to involve the CFTC. So there's some words here about DeFi emerging as, of course, a hot sector also coming under radar of the SEC, which, guys, again, there's more and more of that talk that they're trying to just come after DeFi. Again, we're moving forward into a place that, guys, this, you know, these government agencies won't have any as much clout as they think that they do. So also here as well, guys, this is linking in with actually Fed now. So the Federal Reserve CBDC effort, digital dollar, they say is financial death star, is a financial death star by some U.S. lawmakers. Look at this. The Federal Reserve lists what? CBDC related job positions. I'm talking to the person that really doesn't think that there's going to be a digital dollar or if you think it's going to come in the next generation, if you think, you know, oh, well, my kids are going to be using a digital dollar. No, most likely this is going to be coming about within the next couple years okay you have to look at the writing on the wall we're going to look at fed now it's live okay fed now is live here we're going to be looking at who is involved and how many people are actually involved in that thing give me one second here folks one second i wanted to actually just give me again give me one second it's time to live 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 your capital it's time to live 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 your capital all right we are back so dig this so the fed is listing cbdc related job positions that tells you right there right there federal reserve is seeking a technologist to perform cbdc research and development again guys this is such a ploy such a ploy coming out from Congress, such a ploy coming out from the Fed, because I have a document right here that shows you that since 2022, they already have a schematic all the way around about this CBDC. But right here, so you guys can see what's going on here, Congress is divided on a central bank digital currency. You got Ted Cruz, Tom Emmer, they're antagonists. They don't like CBDCs. They say crypto and CBDCs have divided Congress across the partisan lines, while most Republicans oppose the introduction of a digital dollar. On the other hand, S uh, Senator Warren has advocated for CBDCs, arguing they could solve issues within the banking industry. Hmm, going on to speak about Warren uh, um, um, uh, Warren Davidson, you know, of course, uh, um, Elizabeth Warren, you guys know her, but Warren Davidson, you guys can see here, U.S. representative is criticizing CBDCs. What does he want to advocate? Permissionless person to person money instead. So guys, <clears throat> what I want to kind of, um, break down for you and what I've been saying when it comes down to Fed now, and I have you know more news about that, is that we're looking at what the difference is between a closed loop system and a open loop system. What this Warren Davis, uh, Warren Davis in this U.S. rep is saying here, the Federal Reserve is building what they think is a Death Star. The CBDC corrupts money into a tool of coercion and control. And of course, guys, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about you know the back and forth between all of this. But this rep is saying uh, they'd rather go for permissionless person-to-person -person transactions. So think about this, okay? Think about this. With a U.S. rep 
advocating against a U.S. digital dollar for permissionless person-to-person transactions. Think about what you have right now. Think about permissionless P2P transactions right now. You can think of Bitcoin. You can think of almost any public crypto that allows for person-to-person transactions. Permissionless. Permissionless. He says money should be a stable store of value, store of value, and an efficient means of exchange, not a tool of surveillance and control. So think about what would what what would the Fed even be able to deploy that's permissionless person-to-person transactions? It's not possible. So I want to actually just go ahead and bring you guys straight. Well, I have a whole list right here for you guys. So um, let's just go ahead right here. Fresh speculation arises as U.S. Federal Reserve debuts the Fed now instant payment. So listen, if you're new to this channel, if you just got in here for XDC and everything like that, that's going to be our juicer at the end of this whole thing. I have a whole breakdown for you for how XDC applies. But the reason why we're going over regulations right now is so everyone can have a bigger picture of where we're moving into. It's cool to be bullish about everything, but we must make informed decisions so our bullishness is ratified. It's justified. You get what I'm saying? So. And again, if you're not here in the States, you should really pay attention because if you hold XDC, you should hold XRP. If you hold any XRP, you should hold XLM. Not financial advice, but it's all part of a big schema. So fresh uh, speculation arises now, of course, as this debut has gone live. I want to show you all right here. The Fed has actually announced that this Fed now service is live. This is no longer speculation. It's real. I want you guys to see right here the participants of this fed now service if you guys don't know fed now is a 24 7 365 payment service that's operating here in the state so no longer do people have to wait two three days for processing again this is only for financial institutions that are using this service okay i me personally i'm still dealing with a bank that's still on ach okay that's two to three days for processing when it's not even necessary it's archaic Okay, so putting it out there that this is a instant payment infrastructure that allows banks, credit unions to send transactions within seconds, 24-7, 365. Now look at some of these names here. Look at some of these names here. BNY Mellon, okay? You have BNY Mellon. We went over this, I believe, in our last live. JP Morgan is involved. People's Bank is involved. U.S. Bank is involved. But let's see this settlement agents and liquidity providers because that's who really matters okay it's cool if your bank is signed up for this service and yeah you guys have instant payments awesome that's good but who's going to provide the liquidity who's actually going to settle here this is the juicer right here look at this you guys see bny melon of course you know uh, uh bankers bank and whatnot right uh community bank you know those are financial institutions dig some of the service providers that are going to be adding this liquidity receiving and sending and all that as well i want to go i want to just straight up go right for it finastra 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 is the send and receive receive and all of that service provider look at this right here if you're an xrp holder i need you to see they are a ripple partner finastra ripple partner manage cross-border payments easier with who ripple net via their fusion total messaging so how would it work you have the customer bank customer bank look at me star one salem people's bank jp morgan Peep customers bank working their back office is going to be having a finastra finastra ripple connectivity do you see this you guys see this you have the fusion total messaging here. They, that's what Finastra will provide. And they're connecting there on the RippleNet cloud. And you see now the railway here. You have a payment a payment initiative and payment servicing. That's really what you have with Fed now. That's the service. They're able to facilitate all of this back and forth between the customer bank, correspondent bank, whoever it is. You see, but I wanted to show you all that there is a connection, a Finastra, a Ripple partner. Again, Ripple is all through this Fed now thing. They're all through this Fed now thing. So let's actually see this here. Exploring CBDCs and concerns surrounding Fed now in what? The United States. 
Federal Reserve official Jerome, the homie Jerome Powell, has been cautious about a digital dollar. It's worth noting that officials at the Fed have actively been studying the potential for a government issued digital currency. That brings me right here, my people. I do not want, let me big face for y'all, okay? Let me big face for y'all. I do not want anybody who was a part of this community to be fooled by FUD. Okay, I've been in cryptocurrency since 2017. I'm not bragging or anything like that. This is a educated asset class and highly speculative, highly speculative. Do you understand what that means? That means a little Bubba who's living in his mama's basement who sold his XRP before Clarity can go on the Twitters and say, hey guys, Fed now ain't got nothing to do with XRP. XRP bad, XRP, you understand what I'm saying? We're in a highly speculative um, um, asset class here. So with that being said, this research and analysis needs to be searched out. Don't be fooled. Jerome the homie is saying, well, we're really cautious about this research and development. Miss me with that. When you already have right here from the Federal Reserve Board of Governors at the Federal Reserve, money and payments, the U.S. dollar in the age of digital transformation. They're already researching the CBDC, already have what they're going to do about it and telling you about it. So dig this. This was the part I want to really uh, carve out for you guys today is that they're they're focusing on financial inclusion, financial inclusion. Why is that important? Why is that important? OK, right now here in the States, you still already have a place for anonymity with the dollar. As you guys know, over 90 percent of all of our over 90 percent of all transactions are what digital digital. They're all digital. So they're 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 noticing here in this time of transformation and innovation that there needs to be more inclusion, meaning ev banking the unbanked in a sense. Now, not exactly the mission that XLM is doing, but why not? You understand what I'm saying? Um, not to really, you know, throw things off and stuff like that, but think about what we're going here. We hold XRP, we hold XLM, we hold XDC. So each and every one of those coins is going to be applying in a place to where it wasn't able to be before. I hope you understand what I mean. The digital economy is going to make prime time for each and every one of those XLM, prime time for XRP. And this is only done from being able to connect the dots and seeing how high of a priority these things are for the governments. You understand what I mean? Bitcoin, public, you know, uh, permissionless coin, store of value, digital dollar, Bitcoin ETF. Yay, rah, rah, cool, all that. We can look at the big movie picture or we can see what's happening underground before it becomes mainstream. You follow? So right here, promoting financial inclusion means the vulnerable household, the vo the economically vulnerable communities. They are a high priority for the Federal Reserve. Why? Why? Because you understand that there's going to be tentacles that are going throughout all of these household communities, out of, out of all of these vulnerable households, vulnerable communities. Now that Fed now is cooking, we have instant payments now. You see what I mean? 24-7, 365. And this is just the beginning. You understand this is just the beginning. This isn't some little, oh, yeah, you know, the Fed has a little service going on. Cool. No, JP Morgan is already on board. Okay. JP Morgan's already on board. BNY Millen's already on board. And if you don't already know their involvements with Ripple, you should definitely do your homework. OK, so this is a part here. Private sector electronic transaction accounts facilitate access to what? Digital payments, private sector electronic transactions, private sector, Ripple, Ripple, private sector electronic transactions, Ripple. You can even think of, um, you know, some people would say Venmo, uh, a cash app, all of that. But really, again, what I'm what I'm really wanting you guys to focus on is these CBDCs, uh, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, all those are called closed loop systems. Try to send some cash app over to PayPal. It will not work. Try to send some PayPal over to Venmo. It will not work. OK, so. Private sector enables rapid and cost effective payment of taxes, rapid and cost effective uh, 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 delivery of wages, tax refunds and other federal payments. They're showing you guys right here. OK, that uh, here in the States, here in the States, I don't know if you got, you know, uh, we have mostly, you know, people here in the States. You guys know how it is when you file your taxes, the IRS, you have to wait. Um, you know, a matter of weeks or whatnot uh, to get your return. That's through due process, right? I need to give the spill the beans with y'all. It does not take that long, okay? It does not take that long for there to be a, uh, <laughs> for there to be any kind of, uh, 
uh, processing it all for your refund, okay? They have people that are working the IRS all day at multiple locations. It doesn't take that long to really process you. It's really for you, on the other hand, to really feel that heat. So long story short, what I'm showing you guys, CBDCs right here, enabling fast delivery of wages, tax refunds, and all of these other federal, uh, federal uh, payments. Some have suggested that CBDCs could reduce barriers to what? Financial inclusion, lower transaction costs. They're basically letting you guys know all these benefits when it comes down to it. Again, guys, uh, again, I know you came here maybe for XDC and whatnot, but I need to let you guys know this. XRP is not a security. I love how they put that right there. CBDCs and, and stable coins. Ripple has a platform for central bank digital currencies. Ripple's central bank digital currency platform offers platform for what? Minting managing transacting and destroying cbdc's i need to let you guys know ripple is a part of the digital dollar foundation they're a part of the digital euro they're a part of the digital pound for a reason for a reason sustainability commit to sustainable innovation through the xrpl's carbon neutral technology which uses a unique consensus mechanism folks it's getting there it's getting there now i know this is a lot of uh, regulation talk but again you guys need to understand how Europe if Europe is going to confirm XDC it's not going to be without the US it's not going to be without everyone else actually being involved in a sense so dig this here guys um, this new bill I I, I, I I dived into this with our our members but I want to share with share this with y'all Democrats say Republicans are giving crypto and Wall Street a handout with their new Digital Asset Market Structure Bill. Now, I have to talk to the people that really know something uh, about politics and whatnot and all like that. I don't care what political party you agree with. I, I, I can really care less. Why? Because in my personal opinion, they're all on the same side. You know, it, it's all for division and strife. I want you guys to really see how this whole thing applies. The bill, according to a congressman, the bill seeks to provide crypto markets with a, of course, much needed framework that could protect investors and bolster. But, but look at this. Democrats say that this law is taking resources away from issues that should be prioritized in the House Agriculture Committee and putting all of those resources where Wall Street, where uh, uh, yeah, again, Wall Street really with this so-called handout. So with that being said, folks, this is, I believe, the bill that they're talking about here. This is, again, I have to I have to show you guys what's happening here. So again, you're not surprised when you hear the ilk that might come left and right. Folks, our community, not to flex, not prideful or anything like that. And again, if this is the first time you're hearing me, first time you're finding this channel, Get in tune with the community. We don't just put it out there and just say it for no reason. There is a lot of speculation that comes in cryptocurrency. I see it every single day. But the, the best part about what I really love about this community is ISO Eagles, they're FUD proof. They got their moon boots on. You get what I mean? I, I'm not, I, I don't like weak hands. I don't like paper hands. I don't really deal with jello hands. I don't I don't like people that are like here today, gone tomorrow. You know, um, I'm gonna hold XRP for a week. If it don't do anything, I'm gonna drop it. We're not here for that. OK, we're not here for those people. Again, if you're just, you know, an XRP dusty piece, you know, be gone. I, I have I have heavyweight material over here. OK, so um, long story short, this bill, this bill right here is basically, again, the Trojan horse in a sense for the, of course, the CBDC, but also as well to allow the SEC to get involved. This is the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act. This was just, um, I, I don't wanna say it's been passed. This is a bill that's been drafted, but long story short, look at what's said here. A bill to provide for a system of regulation of digital assets by who? The Commodity Future Trading Commission, the CFTC, and and the SEC for uh, and for other purposes, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, guys, my point really when it comes down to it, we've witnessed what the SEC has to do with for crypto. We see that they're no good for crypto. Not going to get personal or anything like that about Gary Gensler. The SEC is a 90 year plus government agency, guys. You know, there there's. You know, we're we're comfortable with the CFTC because did you guys know that Stellar is like right in bed with the CFTC? Great. The People's Coin, Stellar Development Foundation, good. 
XLM, buy it. Not financial advice, storing it for the future. You see, we're really about future-proof coins, guys. Speculation is cool, right? But if you're working a job providing for a family and stacking up for your children's children, you want solid digital assets, not just, you know, cotton candy. So, um, again, folks, this 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 is something that I don't think should really, you know, pass by you. Of course, if you're not here in the States, right now, like, the United States is seen as kind of like the stage, you know, the the innovation stage. And I'm letting you guys know right now, America is, again, at the like the last when it comes down to innovation. OK, last but not least, this bill was also out there as well. U.S. senators unveiled crypto anti money laundering bill to stop the illicit transfers. Folks, do you see how all of these new bills are coming out after we have XRP clarity? It's a fact. So that, that kind of like. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because I'm showing you guys that these government, these policymakers, they were looking at that case. The thing was pivotal. Of course, the price suppression, all of that stuff was a opportunity for us to accumulate. But you have to really look at it for yourselves. How often, how often were these regulators looking, seeing, searching, wondering where XRP was going to be? Now it has no uh, now it's not. Uh, deemed as a security. Let's go ahead and put these regulations on for these assets. You have to remember this. I have to bring this point up too. This just came to me. You guys remember Brad Garlinghouse said that 95 to 99 percent of these cryptos were going to go bye bye. Okay. I've never, I've never, you know, I've never subscribed to the fact that um, Brad Garlinghouse really wasn't involved in this whole thing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really think that Chris Larson, Brad Garlinghouse, and Gary Gensler sit back, chill over cigars and champagne. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's just personally me. I think it's all vaudeville. Not not to say that they have no integrity. Not to say that they're not honest. But I think it's all connected. That's just personally me. That's just personally me. So here's another bill, just putting it out there so you guys can know. Let us know in the comments how you guys feel if you're watching this on the replay. But look at what they're saying. DeFi refers to applicants that uh, facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions that are recorded on blockchain. The most prominent example of DeFi are decentralized exchanges, where software allows users to trade crypto without uh, intermediaries. So by design, DeFi provides anonymity, which can allow malicious and criminal actors to evade traditional financial regulatory tools, including long-standing rules requiring financial institutions to monitor all transactions and report money laundering and financial crimes to the financial crimes uh, to FinCEN, which is a bureau of the U.S. Treasury. This allows DeFi to be used to launder criminal proceeds and fund more crimes. It would come from the Department of Treasury to come after DeFi. You understand the Department of Treasury came after Al Capone over prohibition. You follow what I'm saying? So, guys, again, the U.S. is so mixed up. It's not clear at all. They're just drafting all these bills now. But my point is XRP has clarity. No longer security. The world bridge currency. OK. All right. Let me big face with you guys for all my XTC holders. I'm about to get into the main piece here. My people main piece here my people now the reason why i'm so excited to really bring this up to you guys is because the eu really confirming xdc is a shot in the dark okay here's here's what i have to say here's what i have to say the eu already and and, this, and i mean that in the best way we, we have xdc so we're good we're, we're good but i want you guys to understand with all of this regulatory uncertainty going about amongst all of these countries and whatnot when the the eu the united like to call them the united states of europe has uh moved forward with the electronic trade agreement moving forward with the developments in and such you're seeing confirmation city come together okay Again, uh, when Fed now was just in its infancy stages, we were going over each and every service provider. Uh, when Big Boss Lagarde, that's the EU or the uh, excuse me, the ECB president, the uh, European Central Bank president announced that there's going to be new changes coming about for Europe, that it's all going to be an upgrading here. That was nothing new to us. OK, so here's the main piece. The next piece I want to show you all is this right here. EU and who? Who? Singapore. 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 Guys, go ahead and use our poll. I'm giving you all the answer here. 
you know, uh, we're, uh, if you're watching this on the replay, our community has a poll out there that was a pop quiz. Where is XDC headquartered? So dig this. EU and Singapore open negotiations on digital trade agreement. OK, long story short, EU, of course, uh, said in a joint statement released to, uh, in a couple days ago that there's talks aimed to. Uh, bring partnership now to this uh, uh, free trade agreement between the EU and Singapore. Guys, this is no coincidence. As you guys know, uh, let me pull that up for you all real quick. I have to pull this up for the new person. If you guys don't know about what's happening, uh, what happened recently uh, in the EU, this, or excuse me, in the UK, this this changed things, okay? This changed things. This is this is finally law. This is, is the first time you're seeing me, first time you're seeing this bill, Electronic Trade Documents Act 2020, 2023. Now, if you're really just thinking UK, you know, small potatoes or something like that, you have it mistaken because again, that's really what, what sparked all of this. Digital trade, okay, it's law now. Digital trade is going to be law. As, as time goes on, things are going to become more and more digital for global trade. If you guys don't know, XCC is a network for what? Facilitate, facilitating global trade. So look at what the new things are going to be happening here. The agreement, remove all custom duties and get rid of overlapping bureaucracy. You're seeing a instant flow between the, U, the EU and Singapore. Get rid of all duties. Get rid of any... Um, uh, bureaucracy, make sure that there is a smooth flow between global trade, improve trade for electronics, food, pharmaceuticals, uh, remove uh, obstacles for green technology. Come on, green technology. XDC is sustainable green technology and create opportunities for environmental services. And look at this. Encourage EU companies to invest more in Singapore and vice versa. Guys, you uh, you have to be able to read between the lines here, okay? But again, I really hope this is making sense. So here's here's to connect it a little bit more for you. So this news uh, came out at the top of the year last year. You have to be able to look. This MAS means the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Singapore licensed digital custodian Propine has a partnership with XDC. Okay, I'm, I have a breakdown for you guys so you can understand what this means. A digital custodian, it, it kind of it's almost self-explanatory. It means that this Propine, they're going to hold XDC for those. I gotta show you a visual. I gotta show you a visual. I just gotta show you a visual. Okay. So again, you guys, for all the ISO Eagles, you might have seen this flow before, but I have to show it for all the new people here because it's just making more and more sense. Okay, so XDC is a network that's meant to facilitate global trade. You see originators, senders, funders, underwriters. This is all for credit, all for uh, trade finance. So you see here regulated digital custodian. OK, everyone, all of the, these these EU companies, all of these different people, all of these different um, uh, um, uh, like they're saying, European companies and whatnot, the European Union and Singapore have now made this free trade agreement. They already have now the MAS has licensed Propine in a partnership with XDC. So the Propine just see this is Propine custodian credit insurers, banks, EU, anybody from the EU approaches Propine, they tokenize those securities. Okay, that's what I want you guys to see. This free trade agreement removes all duties and gets rid of any overlapping bureaucracy. So if you're thinking, oh, well, you know, it won't go that smooth. No, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys right now. They're, they're, they're now... Uh, um, uh, making this free trade agreement more real. They're making it more flourish. They're making it more flush. So you can see here, and an investment protection agreement. Again, guys, this is mad bullish for XDC. So to break this down for you guys, again, uh, these EU companies, governments, anybody would approach, of course, that custodian. They would tokenize those those securities, of course, with XDC. All of this is on the Trade Finex platform, okay? And then uh, from there, the funders... OK, the people that would be, you know, making sure that, gosh, again, you know, making sure that metal from, um, well, I'll just keep the EU and Singapore, you know, I don't know, European, some European business or something uh, approaches the the uh, the custodian here. And then from there, the funders, the banks, non-banks, credit insurers, again, 
approached the custodian to buy those XDC, to buy those tokenized securities here. So again, the main piece, and again, what I'm really showing you all, EU, Singapore, and I just got to spill the beans for you guys, if you guys don't know already, XDC is headquartered in Singapore. That's why this is so important. Okay, I'm just going to spill the beans, give you guys the answer. XDC is headquartered in Singapore. Okay, Zenfin, the XDC network, it's headquartered in Singapore. So again, for this trade for next platform, I'm just going over this again for the new person. This is a regulated digital custodian. They <laughs> contact Con uh, Propine for this announcement here. Just to give you guys a little bit more information on that. Propine provides a suite of custodial and asset servicing solutions to accredited and institutional investors. The solution safeguards digital assets through segregated wallets, enabling trading through integration, partnerships, and offering a range of corporate action distribution of any kind of capital market products. So again, what the news has came out now is that the EU, Singapore, they're back on it. They're back to making this thing flush and moving forward in their uh, in their uh, uh, agreements. We're, we're taking the EU-Singapore trade relationship to the next level. <clears throat> Building, uh, building upon the successful EU uh, trade agreement, we're now deepening our partnership in the digital domain and starting talks to reach a digital trade agreement. Again, they're saying here what it means. Digital is key to future competitiveness. Over 60% of the GDP is already linked to digital transactions. The EU and Singapore are stable and global digital leaders. They want to shape the future of global rules on what? digital trade I, I have to break this down for the new person that's kind of like well i don't see xdc yet i'm trying to connect the dots for you electronic trade document bill put into law xdc has asset tokenization and built for global trade okay long story short for everybody who is here here's where we're at right now and this is just beautiful just freaking beautiful xdc is hitting itself a nice nice support here five cents Oh, man, guys, over a week, the thing is up 60 percent on the week on the week. It is beautiful. It truly, truly is beautiful. Give me one second here, folks. One sec. All right, folks, my people, my people, we are back. So that was it, guys. That's that's the big news. Like I said, I'm, I am mad excited. I really hope that you guys were able to kind of see the connections there again between the EU and Singapore. Singapore is the headquarters, of course, for XDC. And also, here's the best part that I really do love that they are headquartered out in Singapore because the UK and Singapore are pretty much the two trade hubs of the world. OK, you understand what I mean? The UK going forward finally in digital trade is one thing, right? The elect the ETD bill, excuse me, the, uh, is this? Yeah. The ETD bill being put into law for one for EQ, uh, the UK is one thing. That's on one side of the world, right? But then on the other side, you already have the, the MAS licensed this custodian already. If you guys don't know, Singapore, they're, they're, they're innovative. But they're about their business. They're, they have regulations. They have a framework for everything already. So the fact that we hold XDC, it's already in a good place with Singapore. Now the EU is connecting with Singapore already for this free trade agreement. And guys, 
when I say to you, this first one here, removing all duties, getting rid of any overlapping bureaucracy is a big fact. It is beautiful, guys, for real, for real. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into our community time. I have a little bit of time for you guys, a little bit of, you know, our community time here. This is a beautiful, beautiful time here. Have ourselves a pretty good house today. Let's see who we have in a place to be. <laughs> Looks like we have some pretty smart cookies. 77% of our people did know that we uh, that that XTC is headquartered in Singapore. Again, guys, this is some very, very juicy news here. Who else we have up in the place to be? Uncle Reggie, my man, XTC Blue Pass, four cents. That's a fact. That's a fact. If you guys want to go ahead and look at the XDC chart, we could do that. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get a little bullish on the XDC price, huh? Let's go ahead and get a little bullish on the XDC price. I got a little bit of time for you guys. Of course, um, for everybody's uh, comments and everything like that, I want to make sure that we uh, get everybody uh, good good questions and comments in. I appreciate everybody who does tune in. Let's go ahead and swing over to the XDC chart one time for the one time though. Let's see what's actually happening over here. Of course, five cents. Just beautiful. We've been talking XDC for quite a while. So we appreciate all the all the real XDC holders. You guys understand. And I, I want to take this time too as well to let you guys know about the XDC conference is coming up too. So good stuff here. Hold on, let me swing it on over. Yes, yes, yes. And here's the thing, guys. I've, I've been getting some comments too that XDC pumped a little harder than XRP. Did you guys hear that as well? XDC pumped harder than X, uh, XRP. So look at this. Uh, I don't know if we did this in our last live. You guys see that we actually had that that resistance here at six cents, and you guys see that we're in this range. Of course, guys, I, I'm bullish. I am bullish. We've actually been bullish since the 17th of July. But look at that. Look at that. So I want you guys also like uh, look at this. So since the 17th, we've been bullish. The bulls have been winning. Uh, the bears kind of won on the 23rd, like yesterday. You guys see, you know, people were taking their profits, but you guys can see that we really hit this resistance here at six cents. The next one we're going to be hitting is seven. So I want you guys to understand over here on this side, of course, what we really do is buy XDC by the thousand, right? I don't know how you might do it. Dollar cost average is the best way, but this thing is bullish. None of this is financial advice, but you have to think about it for yourself. When it comes down to digital custodians, they're holding XDC. You understand what I mean? The software solution is integrated with XDC network to serve its users with institutional grade security, institutional grade compliance, and insured custody uh, service. This, this part right here is future proof. I want y'all to dig this future proof. You get what I'm saying? Institutional grade security, future proof. Okay. So keep that in mind, especially the fact that it's, it, we're headquartered in Singapore. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. All right. Good stuff, guys. Third son's up in the place to be. Uh, appreciate you being in here, man. Don't be a stranger, bro. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. All right. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Who else we have in a place to be? Gbex Burninator Monday. Burninator Monday. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, we could talk about that. We could talk about Gbex, of course. Yeah, guys, let's actually get bullish on some of these coins that are actually built on XDC. Of course, for all the real people that are here, of course, you guys do love Live Capital and everything. Do not hesitate to hit the like button. Of course, share this thing out. Get get anybody who who <laughs> who needs to know about the future of finance, who needs to know about XDC. Get them involved. Share this thing out. All right, let's actually see. Uh, cause I want, you know, there's a lot of new people that are coming over to XDC. So we have a, uh, a video out there, uh, called the XDC top picks. I put that out there. Of course, you know, I could probably do an update for you on that, but actually let me go ahead and swing over to the GBEX, uh, Twitter or hold on. Is it called X now? What is, what do we even call this? It, you know, it's just the X app. I'm not even sure what you even call the thing anymore, but let me go ahead and swing over to, uh, Globians. Uh, they're, they're, Twitter or their X profile. I don't know. You know, you guys know that uh, Elon really is, you know, up up with this rebrand because of have you guys heard of threads? I think that's what it's called, like the Instagram version of Twitter or whatever threads or something. So, yeah, you guys can see it right here. So we were putting out there about X swap with you guys today. So here's the other Dex coin that's built on XDC. Uh, it's called GBEX. So every Monday, they burn 6% of their supply just to, again to burn it down. So this is the 29th week. You all can see here that 336, <laughs> $336 million worth of GBEX, they just burn it. 204 billion GBEX, they burn it. So uh, to really show you guys, again, 
we're talking about a 379 trillion supply okay 300 almost like yeah 380 trillion so it's a lot of gbex so that's really why again they're burning the supply more and more and more this is a bank a dex uh you know all of that that's built on there so long story short when it comes down to uh your investment and how far you really want to go with this thing you really want to pay attention to this i know there's a lot of speculation some people are like oh man they won't they won't burn you know enough by the time they'll get to a dollar is it between x swap is it between gbex none of its financial advice i'm not gonna you know sway your decision on where you want to you know move into or anything like that my man cp's up in here he says he's full fud proof my man's got his diamond hands on that's what i'm saying guys that's truly what i'm saying uh xdc will replace ethereum quite 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 the sentiment of course guys quite the sentiment guys when it comes down to it most people don't really understand like how that could really be you guys have to really like really understand ethereum's roadmap um they they had an ico before the actual network was complete I, I'm not here to down Ethereum, not, you know, none of that stuff. I just know we don't have too many ETH heads that's in the, in the chat. If you are in the chat, make yourself known. Um, but that that's really a, a thing, a sentiment out there, guys. You know, that, that, that XDC could possibly replace Ethereum. Why? Because you're looking at the smart contract platform of the ISO cryptos. You understand what I'm saying? Ethereum, again, it started as a, a network that wasn't complete. Okay, there's a lot of dirty, dirty stuff that happened in the upbringing, the Shanghai update. I don't want to get too far in all that stuff. But long story short, when it comes down to institutional grade, when it comes down to linking with the parliament, when it comes down to the freaking EU, okay, comes down to actual global trade asset tokenizations here, y'all. Yeah, I'm, 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 putting, I'm putting my money on XDC. You get what I'm saying? All right. Hey, Prod, thanks for being in here, man. If you are listening, please hit the like button. And actually, I'm seeing, I'm seeing these uh, up top here. I'm gonna get to these fresh comments in a second. Um, I'm gonna get to these in a in a in a second. He has said, "Can we see that uh, legendary green candle from XDC?" I know it was, it was a truth, man. It was a truth. I really do like to see this. I really do like to see this. This is beautiful. This truly is beautiful here, guys. And of course, you know our charting. Look at how it is. You all can see it right here. Again, we we hit that height resistance. Next day, you know, people took their profits. But you see, we also got to about five cents, lower levels of five cents. But still, we're here bullish, still bullish on the day. And look, <laughs> accumulate. You get what I'm saying? Accumulate. Good stuff, guys. Of course, yes. I see here a comment that says 17 cents all time high for XDC. Guys, that is peanuts compared to full activation with this thing. Now, some people see, you know, XRP, XLM, then XDC, but people haven't really considered the smart contract apparatus that is XDC. I'm not going to say, uh, you know, oh, XDC is better than XRP and then turn around and say XRP. I'm not, I don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? But when it comes down to real potential here, folks, whoa, whoa. OK, because, again, what, what's going to happen here is that there's going to be a lot of a lot of money here for these tokenized securities asset tokenization. Man, I can do a whole class on that. Why buy in the stocks when they're going to be tokenized what, it, in, in an infinite amount of it? And then again, I'm, I'm I'm probably stepping on toes and everything like that. I don't really want to do that for anybody. But come on. Come on here. Come on here, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see who's in the place to be. You guys are keeping the chat lit. I appreciate it. All right. Mike Watson said, highly blessed for the quality content. Appreciate that, my man. Appreciate that. Had to just make sure you guys were up to date. My man, RBK, thank you for tuning in with that Rari. Hi, Ted. Can you tell me, is it really 6% of GBEX that is burned every Monday? Yeah. Yeah, that Burninator Monday is real. They, they do burn that supply. It's a fact. They'll show you the transactions and whatnot. It, yeah, they're burning it. But really, again, what I have to show, like, here's here's the thing about the GBEX chart, okay? Here's the thing about the GBEX chart here, guys, okay? All-time highs when it comes down to it, notice this. All-time highs when it comes down to it, you know, you had, you had still some zeros when it comes down to it. But there's DeFi apparatuses that are built into Globians, okay? So right now, it's not, you know, I, I was expecting a little bit more of a pump. Uh, I was telling you guys earlier about XSwap. Obviously, XSwap is like the Uniswap here for uh, for uh, XDC. You get what I mean? It has a lower supply, of course, with about uh, total supply about 13 billion uh, for uh, 13 billion XSwap versus that. What did I say? 
you know, 300 trillion GBEX. You get what I mean? So more speculation is, of course, going to come over here to XWAP. Again, quite the quite the speculative change has happened. You see that we were about point, you know, two zeros from one. Somebody, of course, dumped all that profit because, again, look at look at where it's been. It's up 95 percent on the month. You get me X swap. I'm telling you guys, you know, we've been covering over it um, again. I've been telling you guys when it comes down to uh, watching it, the speculation and stuff like that, that this coin was going to wake up when XDC wakes up. People are going to come. Hey, what, what's up with XDC network? What's what's built on it? And everything just goes and booms. That's where we are, guys. We're in a really speculative uh, phase here. Moving forward here, moving forward. Martin Redwood said Quincy Jones equals XDC. That's a fact. Big shout out to Quincy Jones. He's going to be at the on XDC conference. He's going to be at the on XDC conference. More plates, more tates. I don't appreciate that comment, my man. This is a background. <laughs> All right. A prod. It's extremely hard to talk about bank coins with non-crypto folks. It's like speaking another language. Fascinating. You know, to really talk about that A prod, it's it's it is fascinating what you did say, man. Um yeah, if you are still on here, man, because I was just talking with my homeboy, talking with my homie about it. And he was like, yeah, you know, I don't really understand all that, you know, like basically saying educated asset class. I don't need all that, you know, blah, 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 you know. Um, but this is for the chosen, man. This is definitely for the chosen. RBK, he said, wow, it's six percent every Monday. Then GBEX is going to be quite an amazing investment. Yeah, seriously. No, people are really looking forward to GBEX just hitting a penny. You get what I'm saying? Just hitting a penny. You get what I mean? Good stuff. Keep the chat lit, y'all. Uh, Antonio, my man, he says XRP will be used by 2025 in all banks by Japan. And now XTC is making its way in Japan. Coincidence? No, no coincidence at all, my man. No coincidence at all. We just covered how the EU just had that co uh, connection there with, um, uh, with Singapore. Free trade agreement. It's real. It's real. Creepy horror stories. Wow, what a name. Do a price prediction for tomorrow. This guy is new. Know yourself. I like that name, man. Welcome to Live Capital. Welcome to Live Capital. God's child with that big money bag. ETH isn't sustainable for the future. Gas fees are way too high. Let me go ahead and pin that message because that's real. Okay, that's real. Good stuff, my man. I appreciate you putting that up out there. All right. Uh, dip in with jib said, where can I go buy XDC? So a lot of people have just been saying, go ahead, get it on uphold, go ahead and get it on uphold. The reason why I honestly don't really, um, sub or, uh, recommend uphold is because, you know, when it comes down to the, uh, withdrawal phases on some things, they want KYC up the yang, uh, you know, all that kind of thing. I'm just personally kind of away from the whole KYC thing, but to really bear with you guys on it, XD or uphold is a very convenient place, uh, to buy it a very convenient place to buy it. Peanuts for the moon XDC bag. Good stuff, man. All right. You had said it. Uh, no, nah, not not XDC guys, not XDC or uh, IOTA. I'm not going to talk about IOTA right now. GS, uh, XDC or Quant, <laughs> uh, XDC, bruh, XDC. Why do I say that? Because XDC is an actual coin, and uh, Quant is just a wrapped uh, ERC version. It's just wrapped on Ethereum. So we're saying all this stuff about Ethereum. But Quant is a supposedly a blockchain agnostic platform. The platform itself is agnostic i'm not you know i'm not going to say anything about the technology it is agnostic but on the other hand my people the coin is only wrapped eat so i have to share this for the person who is new uh for everybody who is new to this whole thing and how this whole thing actually does work um let me show you all this right here so when it comes down to quant it, you know it's a low it's a low supply low speculation and everything like that if you guys hold some quant I mean, good for you. I hold some quant myself. I actually have it staked right here. You guys can see I have it staked, uh, some staking on the R staking right here, um, you know, baking up for some uh, BUSD and whatnot. Long story short, you know, low supply, speculative, uh, you know, play and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to do a quant series. That's what I said. I'm doing a quant series. I have a close friend of mine who is a quant head and I want him to get on on board and uh you get what I mean? Talk with our community about how we feel about quant. You get what I mean? Good stuff, guys. Keep the chat lit. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, we have some community members say a bit true. That's what I mean. You can get it if you want to deal with the uh, centralized exchange. Bit true. My dude CP, 
he really he's really putting you guys up on game there's an exchange on the decent wallet for xdc you don't have to deal with uphold don't got to deal with no centralized exchanges decent has you covered y'all i gotta put it out there i really do have to put it out there y'all seriously let me go ahead and pull that up thank you for reminding me cp all right right here okay for the new person that is really like man i just got me some xdc what do i do with it so decent wallet there's a link in our description for decent what we really put you guys on is self custody for your xdc self custody so when i say that ledger on the other hand only lets you hold it on what's called a my ether wallet or my crypto wallet that's a third party custodian when it comes down to actually holding your crypto especially for iso cryptos me myself i want to make sure that that thing is in the bag i want to make sure that i actually hold that xdc for myself so as you can see right here xdc directly there now what my dude cp is trying to really tell y'all is that xdc you, you there's an exchange that's already on the wallet okay so for example if you were to swap it for if you want to swap your uh, xlm for xdc xrp for xdc you could do all of that on the actual wallet and every time you swap it's already there in your wallet versus okay i made my purchase now i have to withdraw all that stuff you get what i mean you could just do it all the way around all right my dude ray good stuff man thank you for being up in here he said almost 123 trillion burnt yeah and that's something y'all that's that's wow that's something that is something they burn six percent every monday because they know they know see here's the thing there is already utility with gbex gbex is again an exchange token globians is a bank globians is a dex it's a trifecta that's built on the xdc network so when it comes down to holding it it's a future investment the utility is there now x swap on the other hand x swap my people is going to be something that in my personal opinion uh again i i want them to do a whole lot more but that's not going to stop speculation from happening obviously you get what i mean obviously people are going to come around and want to uh you know do their thing with x swap so if you guys want to know a little bit more information on that and how that could really benefit you in the future let me know third sunset what's a price potential for x swap it could definitely hit it i definitely see this thing hitting a penny way before uh way before gbex i do agree with that i definitely do agree with that uh see okay let's keep this all iso iso uh if we don't mind all right laurel the powers that be are going after tether next in my opinion good stuff man laurel i believe you were the one that was showing us about that tether s uh tether uh fbi that article that dell tech bank kind of went down at dell tech bank oh here it is yeah the u.s secret service it's u.s secret service huh if you guys don't know about this, and this obviously went over a lot of people's heads because they don't know what Dell Tech is. This is the bank. This this Dell Tech bank is where all of the so-called tether funds are kept, right? This is supposed to be the tether bank out there in the Bahamas, and they seized 58 million from the bank's U.S. accounts. Just putting it out there. We'll see what happens with Tether. But again, that's why you guys want to get on board with these future proof coins because you're really putting yourself in a, a bit of a clad. You get what I mean? Making yourself okay. Know yourself. He says, What is XSwap Treasury? So that's the XTT coin. If you guys are involved in any of their DeFi, any of their swaps or farms, you guys can uh, receive XTT uh, as your reward coin. Marvin, thanks for being in here, man. Really showing our community some love. Uh, Adam, Adam, you look, there has to be more of a Casper community. I ain't gonna lie. I dumped my Casper. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's a decent network, um, low supply and whatnot, but I want to keep this XTC related. Adam, continue to uh, connect with us, man. I hope you're su uh, subscribed. My man Phantom was good with you. My man Phantom, the best is listening to the developer that left ETH for HBAR for his project. Basically said it's costing us too much money to use it simple as that man simple as that elias said i almost pulled the trigger on quant back when it was five dollars hey okay man if you're in it holding erc20 tokens good stuff for you bro now y'all talking about other stuff other than xdc y'all saying some stuff about cph and everything let's keep this thing xdc involved if we could brother calculon need casper oh my god oh my goodness what's going on here who's up in this chat right now Okay, I guess that's a sign where I'm about to head on off. Uh, Tun Tun, where can I buy X Swap? 
So you can get X swap, you know, again, dude, I definitely suggest you get yourself a decent and just swap all that stuff off, but you can grab it on BitTrue. BitTrue holds a lot of the XTC coins um, that we're really seeing, XRC20 coins. You can grab that on BitTrue. Get what I'm saying, bruh. CP, appreciate you being in here, man. You are really a, a real person, you know, a real one in this community, my dude. <clears throat> but yeah. To go over everything with you guys, of course, we, we went over a lot of regulations in this class today, a lot of CBDC talk. Um, I know that that really isn't the most bullish for a lot of people because it requires a little bit of learning and everybody's like, look, bro, I want a price prediction on this, woo, 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 all that, I got you. But today was a little bit of a deeper class. I'm gonna continue to keep you guys bullish on the public side because it's important. I mean, hell, think about where we are, guys. X swap up 158% on the week. It, it, it woke up and look at this. You see what I mean? On this weekly chart, you see the people dump their profits. If you're up, if you've been holding this thing for more than a week, yeah, of course, your people are going to take their profits. We're in a highly speculative market. But I want you guys to see this part of this chart, the volume increase, okay? The volume increase. More people are holding XWAP than they have before, right? If we look at this thing, even on the... Uh, you know, of course, around 2022 was a little bit more volume, of course, but those people most likely have been either holding, uh, either letting go of their bags throughout this time, because I want to share this with you guys when it comes down to DeFi apparatus for different things. And this is what I've said when you have farming and DeFi and stuff, people are greedy. OK, they're not just going to hold this for the technology. They see it. They make their gains and they're going to make profits. And other people went on and ate that dip. You get what I mean? So putting it out there, X, X swap is up 158 uh, percent. Not going to tell you guys to chase any green candles. Of course, there were people that did take advantage of this dip. You have about 13 billion uh, X swap of that supply. So you can see this thing getting to about five cents with enough regulatory push. You see what we really key in on is how XDC is gonna be used for the government, it's gonna be used for the banks, gonna be used for uh, global trade. So that's, that's, that's futuristic, solid. This on the other hand, again, you're gonna have more retail coming over, seeing, hey, and that's exactly what happened. Hey, what's going on with this XDC network? Oh, XWAP, oh, the decks for it, run it up. And they did, and it's cool, it's really good to see. It's really good to see, I ain't gonna lie, I got me some XWAP over the weekend myself. I already had some, but you know, putting it on out there. So. All right. All right. Uh, we got some smart people. 263 votes know that uh, XTC is headquartered in Singapore. Singapore, y'all. Singapore. Mm. All right, Ray, because I'm looking at because I appreciate you. You said uh, Cypherium is in a holding pattern. What's up with that in your opinion? So honestly, Cypherium is going to wake up when you have a little bit more of the digital yuan. Uh, pay attention to what the CEO, the Cypherium CEO has to say. He's pretty much the one that's trying to keep his project bullish. Um, if you really want to key in with China and their CBDC, then invest in Cypherium. Cypherium is going to be the interoperable uh, interoperable framework in a sense for Fed now. So it, it's not no utility run is going to be coming for Cypherium anytime soon. OK, obviously, Fed now is in its you know infancy stages and whatnot. Tim said, just got some XWAP yesterday. Thank you, my friend. Yes, I would like to know more about XWAP. Of course. Yeah, of course. So um, again, I really hope you guys did see our last our last update uh, with you guys. 13 billion is not, it's not bad. It's actually really sustainable. But again, I can see this baby getting a five cents with enough push, uh, with enough push. Again, a lot of people are like, oh, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. No. How can a DEX be dead? You get what I'm saying? Uh, but really, it has to be more and more things that are actually built on XDC. All right, know yourself. Listen, man, if you're gonna be new to this community, you have to really know how to <laughs> work with some respect. So we uh, talked about Aquarius in our last update. What we tend to do is kind of just focus on the actual title uh, of the actual of the actual live, uh, so we can kind of stick on topic, uh, just to really keep the chat lit and everything like that. But in the sense, if you guys do wanna know about Aquarius, again, it's the liquidity provider for Stellar Dexes. What I mean by that is, of course, you know, um, XDC is a course or excuse me stellar is the ultimate dex in a sense it's going to be the people's coin uh gosh I'm not I'm not going to be uh pandering or anything for anybody but know yourself you're new to this channel and again I'm going to be getting off of this thing soon unless you guys keep the chat lit seriously so Aquarius of course again this is going to be the uh like I just said the liquidity provider for XDC or um for stellar for the stellar network know yourself 
Know yourself, my man. Know yourself. Okay. Laurel, XRP will be all the money, not USDC or USDT. They need to put it to bed. Oh, yeah. If anybody thought uh, all the money was going to be going to Tether, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah. Laurel, Ted, did the king sign the digital trade into law already? Whoa, Laurel, you are late, my friend. You are late to the party. You are late to the party. I'll be talking to y'all like y'all know this stuff, but I, you know, well, I, I get it. We're all in different levels and stuff like that. Yes, sir. If you guys don't know, and this is why I go over stuff over and over with you guys, because there's new people that are just, you know, don't know this stuff. Yes, the ETD bill has been put into law. The king has set this in place. Roll ascending. That's why it's purple. This thing is set into law. XDC is pumping. XDC got clarity, y'all. Got clarity. All right, y'all. Well, with that being said, I appreciate everybody who does tune into this thing. Make sure that you guys do accumulate, okay? Accumulate, do your thing, continue to hit the like button, subscribe, get involved with us, seriously. If you're watching this thing on the replay and you are not subscribed, you're just watching all of our content, hit the subscribe button, look into our content. It's not just small potatoes out here, you get what I mean? Really appreciate you guys for tuning on into this thing. Hold on, we got some uh, another comments here real quick. Again, guys, I'm about to get off this thing. Get all your good questions in now. Brother Calculon, I appreciate you, bruh. XTC was the fifth coin I've bought. Big long since 2020. That's what we have up in here. ISO Eagles and XTC holders. You get what I mean? ISO Eagles and XTC holders. Let me just go ahead and give you guys, um, y'all want a price prediction tomorrow? Somebody has said that. Let me see. I might be moving too fast with y'all. Might need to slow down. Cause I just be I be stuffing y'all with, with content. I ain't gonna lie. I be stuffing y'all with information. Y'all gotta let me know. Ted, overload, bro. Overload. <laughs> let me know, man. Um, let me go ahead and get to this chart real quick. So, real quick, because I love looking at the XDC chart, especially these days. Especially these days um yeah i have it charted for you guys so here's my unless y'all want a price prediction tomorrow y'all let me know but um let me show you real quick because oh baby yeah foo wee did it just start a new candle oh what yeah yeah look at that XCC just started a new candle and is bullish. Yo, I might I might have to grab me some more. Y'all seeing this? I don't know if y'all seeing that. Y'all seeing this? This XDC just started a new candle, a new day candle, and she is bullish. She is bullish. Yeah, yeah. See what I mean, man? Y'all keep on playing around about XDC. Y'all keep playing this thing like it's a cheeseburger. You're gonna end up hungry, okay? This right here, man, man, man. You think I'm playing on this XDC. It's the connections that we make here. I'm not going to sit here and call y'all dummies or anything for, for real. But you need to do your homework. This is the reason why we tell you guys about electronic trade document bills. Nobody cares about this. You talk to anybody else in your family. Nobody cares about this. Electronic Trade Document Act for what? For, oh, yeah, sure. OK, yeah, sure. Until this thing freaking booms on your face, melts faces and they miss out on all these gains. I'm talking to the person that tried to tell their family about XDC back when this baby was three cents or the person that tried to tell their family about it even before it was uh, before we even had that valley. Guys, this 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 law, this act will be here for decades this will be here after you die, most likely. You understand what I mean? So if you can invest in a technology that facilitates this law, why wouldn't you? I, I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People people, people see the truth and they just like, uh, you know? Anyway. All right. All right. We got some new comments here. Appreciate everybody who tunes in. Nanuko. He says, uh, hello, Ted. Blockworks is also developed on XTC. Is the project dead? If you have any information about it, can you share it? Sure. So uh, uh, I don't really like to say, you know, that this project is dead, but it hasn't been doing much. Um, I'm actually I I'm good friends actually with the um, the owner uh, in a sense for Blockworks. Blockworks started. Uh, they actually sold 
Blockworks, the developers, the original developers sold um, the project over to Dope Club, basically the people that are a part of on XDC. So I'm not going to say block like the project is just dead. I believe it still has potential, but holding the coin in itself, uh, you know, um, just I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to give you any financial advice on that, if you get what I mean. Dylan says XTC makes Ethereum irrelevant. Man, go ahead and explain that for the people. All right, now look at this. Hedonis, can ETH move to XTC? No. ETH cannot move to XTC because Ethereum is a chain itself. It's a network itself. So you could see, like, um, you might see, like, you know, uh, Ethereum X, right? Ethereum X, for real. Somebody could just mint that coin on XDC. It's just wrapped XDC. That's all. You know what I mean? Hope you guys understand that. Ray said, holding on to XWAP until five cents. Blessings to you and your fam. Yeah, man. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, shoot. X, uh, XWAP, not to, not to you know, uh, pump any bags or anything like that, but hell yeah. Uh, XWAP can get there. Just putting it on out there. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for being patient with us. Uh, bro, oh yeah, no doubt, man, <laughs> no doubt. As long as you guys are patient with me, I uh, that's really what I want you guys, you know, uh, want everybody to know and what not. Know yourself, I will accumulate as much as I can. God bless you all. Right on, man, know yourself. Don't be a stranger, bro. Don't be a stranger. Make sure you come back on in. Johnny, ooh, hold on, is this? Wow, Johnny, ha Bobby Jonas has a disciple here. Yo. Johnny, Bobby Jonas will enter the history books. Oh my God, I love that man. Johnny, welcome to Live Capital. I hope you're subscribed, my dude. If you guys see this everywhere on all of our XDC uh, videos, we he's he's like our he's like the patron saint of XDC. No, he's like our community artist in a sense. He pastes this everywhere, and we've given him permission to do so. For real, I know y'all probably get annoyed and stuff like that, but. He's putting it on out there. Johnny, welcome to Live Capital, man. I really love to see that uh, 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 Bobby's got himself a disciple. Very good. Very good. Good job, Bobby. <laughs> All right. New to the channel, just got you suggested. Been in the XRP, X11, XDC for years. Been telling people. Hold on. Pause. You've been into the Army of X for years. Been telling people for three years to buy them, but you're new to our channel? Wow. My man, listen to me. We have over a thousand videos, my guy. Find the one that you love and get in tune. Whoa, we have another one. Bobby Jonas equals living legend. My God, another freaking fan. Wow. Oh, whoa, Bobby, you're in it, my man. You're in it. Love it, bro. Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Y'all see he's a blue wrench. I hope y'all see he's a blue wrench. We respect our Bobby Jonas over here, my guy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Love to see that stuff. All right. Cheryl G, welcome to Live Capital. I wouldn't recommend using Uphold as an exchange that, that does KYC. That's exactly it. That's right. That's right. Um, that's right. I mean, that's the thing. I'm, I mean, I think what people really want are kind of like the XDC paper hands. If you're kind of an XDC paper hand, you're on Uphold. Hey, I'll buy XDC. It pumped. I'll sell it. You know, stuff like that. You know, Uphold is good for that. Uh, they want KYC. I don't even deal with Uphold anymore, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you. Just me personally. I don't really deal with it like that. Brandon Love says, why is KYC bad? Um, just so you guys can know, I'm really from the school of thought, old school, if you want to call it. Crypto used to not have make you get involved with uh, KYC at all. OK, just putting it out there for anybody. Um, but hey, if you believe in, you know, clarity and uh, anti money laundering and all that stuff, it's, it's I guess a personal preference and everything. He says, as long as I can move to my decent, I don't care about KYC. Right. So if you actually already have a decent wallet, you don't have to give anyone your personal information. That's really the point of why we suggest using the exchange on on decent, because you're not have to give anyone your personal information. If you don't care about giving out your personal information, that is all up to you. CP just said it. Just use the exchange. <laughs> just use the exchange. He's trying to keep it easy for y'all. CP, listen, bro. <laughs> Listen, listen, CP, listen, you already understand people make things harder for themselves. You, you, you got to be patient with people. 
People, I'm seeing that. I'm not, I really have to share something with y'all. We are in a age and a time of grand delusion. We have shown you guys over and over and over again that this is the future, yet people didn't do anything. XRP gets clarity, then they do something. So again, I have to commend the people that have for real been keeping the faith, holding the faith, because you're going to receive everything that you've been holding on to. It's yours. Okay? It's yours. Putting it out there. All right, love these comments. Y'all keeping it lit. Y'all keeping me on here. <laughs> uh, right. Only thing I don't like about XDC. I don't. I don't even want to read that comment, Tizzo. Don't even. I, I hear that. What's going on, Alan? I don't even know what's going on here, y'all. What? What? That the forty percent that went to the team and found it. Really? That's what you don't like about XDC and this global trade and all this stuff. All right. No. 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 Okay. So uh, one thing I do want to show you guys before we get off of this thing is the on xdc conference though that's what i want y'all to really understand right now for real we're making preparations and everything this on xdc conference is real you guys want to get in tune with it all right you're going to be having um let me show you all this right here this is real for the next 31 days okay 31 days you guys there's going to be a link in our description y'all can get your tickets you guys want to get in tune. It's going to be going on 25th to 26th out in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Uh, live conference, emerging technology, all of that. Look at some of the speakers that are going to be here. Atul Kakade, founder, director, XTC Network, Ritesh Kakade, or Kakad, excuse me, co founder of this platform right here. Trade Finex, baby. Trade Finex, okay? Trade FinTech, all that stuff. Of course, Quincy's going to be in attendance. This is who I'm really trying to look, I'm, honestly, who I'm really looking forward to hearing from, Andre Casterman. Andre Casterman. Let me just park my car and talk about this dude. If you're new to XDC, each and every one of the uh, X coins have been facilitated. What I call them, and what a few people do call them, is the Chosen Five. Seriously, it's the Chosen Five ISO cryptos. XRP, XLM, XDC, Algorand, and IOTA. Now, of course, those last two, those last two right now are bearish right now, but you can't play these cryptos. You might want to try to play them on the side, but whatever. Anyway, so each and every one of the X coins has a uh, custodian in a sense. XRP has Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, Chris Larson. Uh, pushing forward, obviously, XRP used for ODL. XLM has the Stellar Development Foundation. Uh, Danelle Dixon, you know, uh, you know, the CFTC, how they're moving that forward. XDC, on the other hand, has Andre Casterman. This guy used to work at Swift. He's a part of the ITFA. Listen to me, the ITFA. That stands for the International Trade and Forfeiting Association. Why is that so important? Because this is an initiative to make sure that XDC, the DLT, is used amongst banks, amongst governments, and they're linked with the uh, they're linked with the ICC. Who's the ICC? The International Chamber of Commerce. Commerce, guys. This is this is big. This isn't just, you know, oh, well, you know, yeah, it's called XDC and it does trade finance. Buy it. I don't know if there's channels out there that do that. I'm not sure. But yeah. So profile, he said, is uh, XDC staking on prime numbers actually safe? So to be honest with you, uh, and I don't know if my brother Ray is still in here. Community member Ray is still in here. He was telling me that he wasn't really getting any feedback on the support. So I personally have not. Uh, I personally have not staked any XDC on prime numbers. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say they're a rug or anything like that. Only thing I would really recommend is like, um, uh, I, again, I, I can't answer that question. He just said he like Ray got, you know, he put out his XDC, pulled it out and I'm like, okay, you know, yeah, thank you. Move forward. Alan, he says, I became a new subscriber. Hope it helps. Uh, hope it helps. I like anything XDC or X coin. You hope what helps, my man. This community, this 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 community is for the people. People love the movement. Let's go. Appreciate the support, everyone. Bobby Jonas, we here for you, bruh. We here for you, my man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ton ton. Do you know XRP? Let's let's wait for that question for the XRP uh XRP live. Okay. Keep stacking. Just snagged a hundred dollars worth of GBEX. I'm a bandwagoner. Okay. <laughs> Keep stacking. I see you with your, uh, uh, what is that, Terra Luna? Terra Luna? No, go ahead, man. Go ahead and, and, and uh, accumulate that GBEX, my man, that G-Bizzle. They're burning 6% of the, of the now, it's not that much of a sexy pump. I've noticed that. This isn't, this isn't much of a sexy pump at all. You know what I mean? 
you know, it's, it's not bad. Okay, we're up 27% on the week. This is great. This is great. This is a pump. This is speculative. But um, this is a long-term play, you know? Let's just think about it. Speculative retail comes and sees, oh, 500 trillion, uh, you know. All right, I guess. You know, but the point is, well, $100, I don't know how much. I don't know. Um, keep stacking if you are still in here, bro. Let us know how many that is. $100 worth of g is what? Um, God, I don't know. I don't know. Probably a couple million or something like that. You know what I mean? Lloyd. New to the channel. Great job. Thanks, Lloyd. Go ahead and get in tune with us, bro. Seriously, get in tune, my man. Thad, I've been preaching XDC to all my coworkers. Thad, continue to do it, my man. Subscribe. Share this thing out. Get in tune. I don't say that just for me. I say this for the people. Everyone needs to know about the trade revolution that is XDC. I really do mean that. CP is trying to let you know, use your XDC discovery tab for all your DEXs. Boom, baby. For real, all you really have to do is just connect straight to the XSwap or GBEX um, platform and you're in there. You're in there like swimwear. You get me? All right. Uh, um, <laughs> CP, love you, bruh. Oh, so CP, you going to be in Texas with us, my man? That's what's up. That's what's up. Tommy Gray Beal, my man. Welcome back to Live Capital. Now, let's see. He says XTT had itself a good run. We talked about XTT in our uh, latest update today, earlier with you guys. But understand, this right here, this treasury token, this here is um, it's inflationary. I want you all to keep that in mind. So if you're just buying this to kind of hold a lid or whatever, uh, you know, you can, you know, make your gains and whatnot. You know, had its nice, decent little run, 67%. You know, there, there. I think I see, I see X swap really being like more for the people, while you have um, GBEX really being for the banks, institutions, and everything like that. Thanks for keeping the chat lit, y'all. Appreciate everybody who is tuned in. Thad, for real, I want you to keep that in mind, dude. XDC, keep on preaching it, man. You know, like I said, you, we have really have to be patient. Uh, direct them here to Live Capital. Direct them to our. Uh, are some of our our XDC content, man? It's not it's not for me, not for views or anything of that stuff. Our community, I'm noticing that y'all, our community is real. Our community is real. Really good stuff. Look, John's up in here. If we haven't seen this question a thousand times today, okay. If we haven't seen that question, everybody's like uphold, uphold, decent, uphold, all that stuff. I'm going with my man CP. Go ahead and go with decent. Now look, John, John. If you are still in here, John, welcome to Live Capital, John. If you're a paper hands on XDC, go ahead and get it on Uphold, man. If you're here just for, you know, ooh, XDC is pumping, ooh, oh. Look, if you're here for that, go ahead and get it on Uphold. Sell it when it gets to six cents. You just found yourself in a Eagles club. You just found yourself in a XDC bull session. We're not here for peanuts. We're not here for kibbles and bits. We're here for full activation because, John, listen to me, man. Watch this thing on the replay. Watch this thing on the replay. We broke down what this platform is really all about, okay? XDC is built for global trade, okay? And smart contracts, hybrid tokenization, enterprise-grade security, military-grade forensics. Do I need to keep on going? I, I mean, I, <laughs> just, my God, okay? <laughs> Look, somebody said, uh, bit true. Get it on bit true. Love it. Love it. All right, y'all. This has been real. Um, profile XTC team costs also a lot to sustain and is the only one in trade finance so far. XTC moon super cheap, green, and fast. For real, man, XTC is fast as well. Cheryl, <laughs> I like this advice, and this is why I'm going to read this out. Don't sleep on IOTA. It's best to buy crypto when they're boring. IOTA may seem to be sleep, but they're very important for smart cities. Cheryl, I really hope you're subscribed here. How you talking? Our, our community is educated. We keep our community educated. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> I love the new people who come around here and want to like try to educate our people and everything like that. For real, y'all, don't be too lazy to dive through our library. All of our inform all of our all of our, our um, videos are educational. Lately, we've been a lot more bullish uh, for you guys, but for real, 
don't oh my goodness guys really he really listen to what i have to say please okay all right y'all uh yes ray he said it i pulled my xdc from prime numbers i went two weeks and did not hear from anyone see that was what he was saying is that, that you know the support you really want to be able to kind of hear well you know it is DeFi. we're dealing with smart contracts and everything but if your support's not getting back to you and i'm staking my xdc on your platform People get a little iffy, you know, people definitely get a little iffy. All right, y'all. Thad, my friend, thank you for being in here, my dude. Thank you for being in here. Let me see what Mo said. I'm only 13, but I use my dad's account on YouTube to watch your channel. Me and my dad buy XRP, XDC, and XLM. He bought me a lot of ISO coins for three years straight. Wow. 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 That is real. Thank your dad for me, Marvin. That's real. Exactly. 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 Man, that's real. That's what I'm talking about. And that that th this is what it's about, folks. Let me just say something here. Let me just say something here. I'm about to pin this joint. I'm about to pin this joint. Let me just say something here. If you're not storing and, and not even not even if you don't have kids or not, what do they say? A good man stores an inheritance for his children's children. Man, that's real. That's what's up. Man, that's what's up. If Pops, if you are listening, MO Pops and everything, appreciate you. I, my heart really does go out for you. How many XDC for generational wealth? Come on with it, Tommy. Come on with it, my man. All right, so uh, we haven't talked generational wealth in quite a while in quite a while but that's exactly what it is holding holding for your children's children uh in my personal opinion you really want to get yourself of course to that five hundred thousand mark and then from there seven hundred fifty thousand um million million play actually puts you in the upper higher echelon with a million xdc cross-border digital contracts for full activation if xrp is going to be about 10k with full activation xlm mm, shy to about 6k in a sense each coin and everything like that they might try to play x xdc smart contract capabilities for 5k you get what i mean so if you can really get yourself to a million on that sense five thousand for each you know and again, it really becomes, um, how do we say? Oh, man. Um, what's, what's the word? Particular or, or you know, uh, generational wealth is like different for other people. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. So, um, guys, that's, those are bigger bigger numbers and everything like that. But really good. Profile X, saucer swap. That's uh, H bar. Fees are low on H bar. Yep. H bar. Good stuff, guys. Thank you for everybody who is tuned in here. Darian, good to see you, Ted, as always. Still have diamond hands while on this XTC x -Swap pump, enjoying it all. Thank you, guys. You see what I mean? We're not really here for, for paper hands, man. I don't deal with no jello, jello pansy new booties that are just, okay, so um, this uh, XDC, yeah, 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 uh, trade finance tokenization, yeah, 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 all that. So uh, when's it going to pump? Miss me with that stuff, man. I got you. I got you, but, you know... <laughs> We, we're, we're really we're, our community is for those that do enough research so they can have something for generational wealth. You get me if you watch the replay, we're making the connections here between the EU, Singapore coming together with this free trade agreement. Free trade agreement is going to be opening up trade between, again, those two countries. Where is uh, XTC Singapore? Um, where is XTC headquarters? Singapore. What bill just went into uh, law? ETD bill. UK Parliament. All things are going to change for trade finance. Guys, I'm going to get off of here. Spies, who's got 30k US? You could. Spites, you just been sitting there on the sidelines just to say that? You can. You do. You have 30,000 if you believe it. If you believe it. Ronald's like, well, 5,000. 5,000. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Y'all do your thing. Do your thing. I might, I might be intimidating some people. Let me shut up. Let me be quiet. You know. 5,000 XDC is enough for, for generational wealth. Hey. I ain't trying to make nobody mad. Y'all do it. All right. Last one here. Joseph says, I use Uphold, but I tried to use Mexi because it was non-KYC, but I just couldn't figure it out. Its UI is a lot more complicated. So can you recommend non-KYC exchanges? That's so funny, Joseph. Um, if you are new to our um, community, we have a link 
for Mexi to where you don't have to use KYC. You can't buy XDC on um, on Mexi, but you can get XRP and XLM. So, um, and it's not that complicated in my personal opinion. That's just me. All right, guys. After seeing you and your kid talk about crypto, I followed your lead and bought XR XDC and XLM for my kids. Yeah, man, it's the future. It's truly, truly the future. Guys, all right, I'm going to wrap this one on up. I appreciate everybody who does tune into this thing. You guys really being a part of our community. Again, guys, accumulate. Remain diamond hands. Uh, key in with this. We're going to be at the On XDC conference. Again, guys, you look, if you have been listening to me this whole time and you're like, all right, so where can I get XDC right now? Just use a link in our description. OK, save yourself some money on a decent wallet. They're giving out XRP with each one of the devices. And I think it's like 30 or 33 XRP for each each uh, device. It's free shipping right now for all the U.S., all the Japanese, all the uh, U EU and U.K. listeners. OK, and decent keeps on doing this free shipping. So I'm going to keep on telling you all about it. Again, this is real custody for your XDC. If you think your XDC is sitting on your ledger and it has something, you know, real, like you're actually holding it, I'm sorry, it's, it's through a third party wallet. I just have to put that out there, okay? I don't want to, you know, send anybody off or anything like that. This is cryptocurrency, highly speculative. Sean Stewart, welcome to Lift Capital. He says, what's a good X swap grab? Yep, that's a moon boy. That's a moon boy. Okay, so real, real quick, Sean. Um, <laughs> oh my God. All right. So, um, when it comes down to it, man, I don't, I, I'm not going to tell you what your grab should be because we're all in different situations, but this baby is going to hit a penny before GBEX does, uh, showing you this right here. So Sean, again, my man, I appreciate you for being in here. If you're new to our, if you're new to live capital and whatnot, uh, yes, X swap made quite the pump. 173% on the week, okay? But I want you to keep this in mind. This baby is going to be hitting a penny before GBEX does. Why? Because now we have regulatory clarity, or excuse me, retail attention coming to the XDC network. With that being said, more people are going to search out who has the lower supply. 13 billion over the 500 trillion uh, GBEX. Yeah, people are going to go with the lower supply, and that's going to result in higher prices sooner, okay? <laughs> don't fall for it. and again sean if you if you if you hear any fud out there oh x swap is dead it's dead it's a dead project dead 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 again how can a dex be dead right you know how can a dex be dead it's a smart contract get what i'm saying all right all right guys i'm gonna hop off of this thing most like uh um let's see here <laughs> Look at his name, Perilous Times. I don't live in Perilous Times, and neither should you, my dude. When XTC reaches 1,000, all you need is 10K. Really? Okay, we're talking about generational wealth, my dude. What is that? Uh, 1,000. Oh, what is that? What is that real quick? Peril oh, my God. Perilous Times? You should live in Christ, bro, not crisis. Okay? Okay? Live in Christ, my dude, not crisis. Perilous Times. Jeez. Get off of this channel. My God. All right, guys. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Sins World still, bro. Appreciate you being up in you. Devon, Mr. Carpenter, grad, uh, appreciate you being in here, man. Don't be a stranger, for real. For all the new people that are here, don't be strangers. Look through our XTC content. Allow the content to prove if you should subscribe over here. Don't just be freeloading. Don't just be freeloading. Anderson, my man, this is the last one. XTC is truly about to make some people upset because digital trade implementation is present. Grab as much as possible now. Big stuff, man. Big stuff. Big stuff. All right. Guys, with that being said, I appreciate everybody in this community who is a real one. Of course, if you are watching, please hit the like button if you really do support Lift Capital. And of course, again, open your eyes and ears to what's really going on here. All this stuff, you know, if you really feel bored and want to go to sleep when we talk about regulation, CBDCs and all this stuff, if you're watching this on the replay, this is the put, the stuff you really want to pay attention to because we're progressing into something different. You might be in a situation where it's like, look, bro, I just want to get some gains. I just want to, you know, buy this coin and everything like that. But what this channel wants to do is open your eyes to what's actually happening that's bigger i don't know if you feel a certain way about you know people of color talking about cryptocurrency how do you know about all this and i there's plenty of haters that try to come after this channel trust me but from it all we kept the same energy before the etd bill uh came about uh before we had xrp clarity before xlm had its what fifth meridian conference you understand what i'm saying 
we're not new to this we are true to this okay and again if you want to just freeload and sit on the side at least hit the like button <laughs> with that being said guys i'll holla y'all later peace Thank you.